What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and today I just wanted to show you guys a quick update on the Lego cave here. Uh, you might remember this from a couple of months ago where I renovated this space in my uh, basement. Uh, but since then I haven't done any updates, now a lot of things have changed already. Uh, a couple of months ago already, but I never really found the time to get this, <laughs> this room cleaned up and ready to film. So now we did that. And if you're wondering where this room is, let me just back up a little bit down here. On the right side we have the city room. So yeah, that's the city room and then on the left side we have the door to the cave here. Alright, now first off I will just quickly 360 pan around the room here. So you can see everything. Let me see, we got the back there, we got the new billy closets in there. We got that awesome little Star Wars display there. Some other stuff down here. Alright. Now one of the biggest changes we have in this room are those billy closets in the back there. Uh, so yeah, those make the room look a lot better already. Much better than those metal shelves we had. Uh, and these cover up the tank in the back, the pretty big tank, uh, completely. Now we also just had enough space up there, as you can see, to put in some Funko Pops and stuff. So I'm really, really digging that. Now, some other stuff that you will be seeing a lot is those Star Wars cardboard advertising uh, thingies down here and the left side there as well. Those were part of a, of a lot that I bought from somebody who had a lot of advertising stuff from the Phantom Menace and, and everything. So that was pretty cool. So I got that. And I think it looks very, very cool in the room, but either way, we'll take a closer look at that right now. First off, let's start off with this left section down here. All right, now starting right above the TV here is a shelf that we didn't have in the last uh, update. So yeah, let's have a little look. This is uh, completely Marvel inspired. So yeah, we got the skateboard, Silver Surfer skateboard down there. Uh, we have the bridge battle here with this old school uh, tram from the 2002 sets and stuff from the Sam Raimi movies. Now we also have a lot of other things. We got the Mighty Micros here. We got some Funkos as well, so I'm really, really digging this now. Lots of these planes and everything, and, and like the car out there and stuff, are things that I would love to include in the city eventually, to have them hanging and flying around in the city. But until then, I'm going to keep them on here. Uh, but yeah, then underneath there, we got the Ecto-1. We got that Batmobile, just the same as last time. Underneath here, we got almost the same stuff as last time. Those little, uh, little minifigure stands have been moved down here. Not sure if I'm going to keep them there. Uh, we got the television here, of course, with the logo on it. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the Star Wars section. All right, and on the right side, as you can see, that little portion down there uh, is kind of Star Wars uh, related, uh, mostly. Uh, but I still want to get in a plank on that height down there. And I also need to have another plank right, right above the uh, display cabinets, just to display some more um, ships on there and stuff, because you cannot put any weight on the cabinets themselves. They're going to start to bend down and stuff. Now, on this side, we have this pretty cool Old Republic display. This one lights up. It's not really visible right now. Uh, then out here, we got some, some more Technica type of builds here. Uh, we got the old Django Fett down there as well. Pretty, pretty cool. The Grievous here, a very, very nice one. And then we got some of those Cornflakes boxes in the back as well. Those came with like a little statue. These are from like 1999 or something. Uh, so either way, very, very cool. That was also part of that uh, lot of the guy that I bought uh, all of that Star Wars stuff from. Then out here we have this Venator, very very cool. And uh, then we got the Vikings down here. We got the Atlantis one down here, but this is very very unfortunate that it broke during uh, shipment. So uh, during the shipping it got broken, and I was looking for some ways to fix it. I'm not sure if anyone has any idea how to fix that. Please uh, let me know. And down here we have this very very yellowed old Star Destroyer from like 2008, I believe, something like that. We also have a Tie Fighter, some of these. Uh, Walkers here as well. Got that little frame there, the 20 year anniversary. Then out here we have a little mug of mine, uh, a Hellraiser mug, which I'm gonna tear apart. Uh, the pillars used to turn around, they don't work anymore. Uh, but either way, it's that little scene from the first Hellraiser movie. Not sure if anyone is familiar with that. Then uh, this is very, very, a very awesome uh, little display piece that I got from that same seller as well. And I just thought I've put, I'd put everything on here that I have from the Phantom Menace. I mean, I have some other stuff as well, but I thought this one with. Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan would be the most uh, memorable, but uh, either way, then we also have this very cool uh, like movie theater pillar type of thing, or it's, for a, it's like for a game, I believe, so, but very cool with those pod racers. All right, and here we have the other side of that pillar with a particularly creepy dart mall, uh, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn down there as well. Then we got some sorting cabinets down here. Uh, we got the Wheel of What You Built periodic table of the Lego colors. Now this is a very cool little item. Uh, either way, on top here we also have some more uh, sorting cabinets and stuff. We have some plant pieces on there in those jars. So uh, very, very cool. Now I still have to reorganize this entire section as I'm expecting a new billy closet, the same one like that. It's going to be squeezed in between those two. 
it's all gonna move and this little plank is gonna be cut off a little bit um, so yeah but I'll save that for the next uh, man cave or Lego cave update but here I got this map with a lot of important papers like the orders from Lego and stuff some more cabinets out here we got some very random stuff up top there that I still have to organize and put somewhere nicer then on the right side we also have a lot of cabinets we got some of these little boxes as well this one has the minifigure parts like head, heads and arms and uh, and hands and stuff so yeah and then in this cabinet here we have this very cool UFO uh, this very old school vintage UFO um, display here with which has some buttons which don't work at the moment uh, but I also have the lineup of the space police villains uh, or a lot of them uh, up on here as well now I, I've included this CMF one as well it kind of reminded me of, of those space police ones and of course I had to uh, put in Rick here as well he's the biggest criminal when we get to this little cabinet here we have some more sorting drawers underneath there some stuff that I was working on a little bit of Star Wars so we have this temporary Star Wars display here until I fix this closet here and I've, until I fix that little plank on top there and some more room to put some ships and everything so at the moment we have the Millennium Falcons down here uh, both of them and then on top we have this ver very cool little adventures uh, Egyptian display here now this is still working as you can see pretty cool this one also let me so that's pretty cool and then we also have the Sphinx down here a very old set a, a mock of mine as well uh, an Anubis mock so pretty pretty cool all right so now we have reached the final billy here which is a smaller one and a little fun fact i had to break open this floor uh, that beam used to come until here uh, but then it had like a very big gap between this billy and this little heating uh, heating thing out there uh, so i decided to break it open then i had to kind of jigsaw a new piece of the of the flooring in between there i had to wedge it in uh, slam it in there with a hammer and stuff so but now i'm very happy with it because now we got this billy out here and we don't have any ugly gap anymore oh yeah we have that ugly gap out there but it's uh <laughs> less big of a gap either way here we have these mechs some asian mechs also we got that little lava monster there uh, so nothing really special i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep them on there uh, either way then coming down we have this little display from the Le lego ninjago movie and then underneath here we have some very cool um teenage mutant ninja turtle sets which i do want to include in the city um when i have place for it so yeah very very cool i'm really digging those then underneath there we got a lot of harry potter figures and then we also have some knock uh, bin of knockoff figures so all right and then we got these funko pops on top here i'm quickly gonna pan over them so you can see which ones on the right side we have a lot of rick and morty ones so yeah those are the most visible ones when you enter here we also have randy there colonel sanders uh, pennywise so a lot of my favorites here now we're getting to one of the coolest items that i've bought of this uh, seller who had all of these Lego Star Wars promotional stuff so this is like a, a little cabinet as well but it's made enter entirely of cardboard uh, now as you can see most of these have uh, bent a lot so I'm thinking of just making a wooden closet that can fit right in between here uh, I would still I would still have to uh, take away this and this lower part but I could reuse it and stuff but I think making it a wood cabinet would be the most uh, sturdy uh, but either way then on top here we have some of the <laughs> probably the best that i have of <laughs> the, the best collectible items that i have from this guy uh which are these like tower and zinger burger zinger tower burgers a uh, little what is it like stuff that the burgers come in from star wars so very cool these are clean these haven't been used but either way i'm a big kfc fan so i'm really digging these uh with the old school kfc logo on there so very very awesome i did not find a place to uh, display them but these are light enough to put on here so i've just kept them on kept them on here for the moment as this cabinet is looking pretty empty right and then on this side here we have this very awesome use the force uh like this is the thing that would hang in like the lego aisle or something in 1999 so that's so so awesome and uh, i've bought each one of these so we have the dark Vader one we also have the dark mall one out here it's a bit too light on there yeah either way i bought these for 10 euros this was actually the first thing that i saw of this seller and i thought they were gonna be a lot a lot smaller and then when i came to the uh, when i got to the house of the seller i saw that these were like pretty huge because these are like one meter across so if i put my i have a bit pretty big hand but either way you can see the scale down there uh so very cool then we got some random uh plushies on top there as well some uh guardians of the galaxy rick and morty stuff out there as well uh but either way i'm really really digging those then out here we also have a very cool display so this is a mix of like a lot of teams and stuff we got technic we got ufo we got adventures uh, i believe this is castle 
or with those like special, uh, I'm not sure how they, Fright Nights or something. Then we also have the Extreme Team, some of the City Racer stuff, whatever. But these were promotional with Shell, Lego Shell uh, items that you could get. And this is like the display of it, so very, very cool. I bought this for a very cheap price as well. Now underneath these uh, signs and stuff, what we have here is my backlog. So uh, this is a backlog of some stuff. It's not really as impressive as I've seen lots of uh, you guys on Instagram and stuff. Uh, but either way, we also have this little like uh, Chinese <laughs> little uh, display there as well. And then underneath here, I've put my light kit uh, <laughs> backlog. So I have a few of those. I still have to install these Winter Village ones. Uh, then this one is for the train. Uh, this one out here is for the Disney castle. It's, I already installed that one, but I have one uh, a few more light elements in there. Then we have this tree house here and the Hogsmeade village one. This is the first one I'm going to do now. Uh, but either way, then out here we also have some of these character packs. Uh, so yeah. All right, now we're getting to these cabinets here, which are now lit up, which wasn't the case in our last update. So then we have the Iron Man area out here with lots of suits. So pretty cool. We also have that little infinity gauntlet there or nano uh, gauntlet, I'm not sure what the one Tony Stark uses is called, but either way underneath here we have a little Harry Potter section with some old sets looking very very naked at the moment, very um, bland, so not really really cool. I still have to cover it up or uh, dress it up a little bit more. But yeah, underneath here we have this little Star Wars mug that I've made uh, last year, somewhere last year as a part of a contest. I did not win unfortunately. And then underneath there we also have some brick hats which are placed very badly and then in this other closet we have this stranger things set here which is still one of my favorites uh when you enter the room this is one of the first things you see now i still really have to get the light kit for this one it also has some cool uh, light uh, sound effects and stuff either way we got a mirror in the back as well so you can look on the inside if you're standing out there so let me just try to check that out so from here you can see the insides come on yeah all right like that so that's pretty cool uh but yeah either way underneath there we have the another harry potter area so those two fit together. I'm probably gonna, I would love to get some more of these details, uh, IKEA uh, like cabinets, but they aren't available in black and they haven't been available for a long time here in Belgium. So I'm not sure if they are discontinued, but I do hope they are not because I'd love to get a couple more. Then I will slide them all together. So this Harry Potter area will kind of flow, uh, flow together a bit better. For the moment, it's not looking very nice. Uh, but yeah, either way, then we got the pyramid underneath there. So this is one of those pyramids from those uh, Pharaoh's Quest sets, uh, but I just uh, filled them up with some Dragon Ball Z characters and stuff, I don't know why, but I just thought it was fitting with that character down there representing like an Anubis dog or something, so pretty cool. And then underneath there we have the little Western display that I have, as I'm a big fan of Western uh, builds, but I, I wanted to make like a little display for it or a little, um, yeah, a layout for it as well. I've, I have another, a couple of those road plates, uh, but I've used them right now on my Tatooine area which is underneath the city um, so yeah for the moment i'm not gonna be making a western uh, layout and then we get to the final part here uh, which is this poster here from uh, lego pirates we also added in this little shelf here which is now filled with some very random stuff so i might replace this poster with a star wars one and add in some a little star wars uh, or some star wars things on there uh, as we have this paradisa poster right here as well so i would put the pirates one down there uh, take this frame, put it here, and put the Star Wars poster in the frame. Um, so yeah, now we can still have those uh, pirates on top of there. But either way, I'm not really... This one is also almost always covered up by the door. So if I open the door, it is covered up. So yeah, I was thinking like, I don't have a lot of pirate stuff. So I, I, it's probably nicer to have like a Star Wars uh, poster down there. But yeah, either way, underneath here, we have this little hidden side castle. And then we have this Exo Force uh, display down there as well, which I don't have a nice uh, location for at the moment. But yeah, guys, that was it so far. The Lego Cave Tour uh, of July 2021. Now be sure to like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think uh, of the cave in the comments. Uh, do you like it? Do you have any suggestions? Uh, is there something that I should change? Uh, do you want to see something in the future? Now, either way, for now, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.